Okay, so beginning our journey with Tinkercad, you need to open up a new tab. Of course, you're already logged into Chrome. Understand that what I do here might look a little different than yours because I'm a teacher and you're a kid. If I type in the word tinkercad.com, it actually predicted that I would be going there because I've been there so many times in the past. You may have to type the whole word. And it'll take me to the main Tinkercad page. Hopefully, there it is. And uh, you know, this is what their homepage looks like. And up in the top right corner, there's a sign in button. So we're gonna sign in and we are not gonna use our email or username. We're just gonna click sign in with Google cause hello, we're already signed in with Google. Tinkercad is nice in that it's already uh, familiar with and can link to your Google account. You don't need another password or anything like that. Uh, it may ask you which account to use. I have just, uh, you know, used a, a, a couple of different Gmail accounts. It may only show you one. Uh, you may other get other questions as well. It might ask you your age or some other uh, things about you, whether you're a student or not. Feel free to answer any of those questions. Oh, look at that. Tinkercad crashed. Bummer. Let me refresh it, see what happens. There it is. All right. Now, all this stuff down here, you probably won't see. Obviously, uh, I've been teaching this for many years, so I have all sorts of projects. But on this main page, what I want you to focus on is up here in the top right corner that there are menus. And the one we're most interested in is right here where it says learn because you guys are learning. All right. Uh, and the first thing we want to learn is our starters. You're going to do the seven starter activities you can see four of them here but there's a little button here that says see all starters click on that might take a moment <clears throat> again seems like maybe we're having some sort of wi-fi or connectivity issue come on internet see the little thingy spinning up here kind of like a hamster spinning on its wheel there we go so one two three four five six seven of these guys might look like something you saw on Google Classroom uh, that uh, described the assignment. So I'm going to uh, click on the first activity. And for those of you that have done this before, uh, maybe have done some Tinkercad work or when you were in sixth or seventh grade, this is gonna seem almost like a joke, it's so easy. Uh, it does get more complicated as we move on to things like grouping and aligning, but uh, the first few activities are really simple. And for someone who's never done Tinkercad before, it's going to make it really easy for you to learn how to do it. Now, let me reset this activity. Obviously, I've already done this, and it gives you a nice little fireworks display when you finish something, makes you feel good about yourself. Let's see if this thing resets for me. Once again, my little spinny guy up here. It's waiting on me. Come on, you can do it. Not quite sure entirely why it's going so slow today. Might be the weather. All right, so this is what it'll probably look like for you the first time you log in. If you've never done these activities before, notice that over here in the left-hand column, there are instructions. You read the instructions and you do what they say. Do you see the orange shape on the work plane? I do, it's orange. This is a hint, hints help you guide you. Find the box shape on the shapes panel. Left click and drag the box shape to the hint on the wood. So here's my box. I drag it over, line it up so it's right over that guy. And then down here it says continue to the next step. I did it. I'm like Dora the Explorer. Look at that. The fireworks went off and everything. And when I click done and continue, it'll take me to the next and it'll allow me to do all seven of those activities which if you've done this before, it's basically just a warm up and a refresher to get your brain back into Tinkercad mode. If you've never done it before, it'll teach you some things you need to know to be able to complete the lessons that you are going to be assigned. So go ahead make sure you're logged in with your Gmail and start tinkering. Have fun.